Today we'll be finding the domain of the function y equals 3 times the square root of x squared minus x minus 2. This function is a square root function because it has x underneath the square root. For these functions we need to make sure that what's under the square root is positive since we can't take the square root of a negative number. So we're going to say that x squared minus x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And we have to say or equal to 0 because we can take the square root of 0. Now we can factor this quadratic into x minus 2 times x plus 1. And this all has to be greater than or equal to 0. So our function will exist where this whole thing is positive. Now, I drew this line at negative 1 because x plus 1 is 0 at negative 1. And x minus 2 is 0 at 2. If one of them is zero, then the whole function will be equal to zero. So now we need to check in between these points to find the sign of each binomial and the sign of the product. We'll plug in a zero to start. It makes our first binomial negative. If we plug a zero into the second, it will be positive. So their product will be negative. Now let's plug in something greater than two, like three. Three minus two is positive. Three plus one is positive. So in this section, their product will be positive. Now we have to check something smaller than negative one, like negative two. It will make our first binomial negative. Our second binomial will also be negative. And then their product, negative times a negative, will be positive. So our function will exist where their product is positive. But in between, we'll be taking the square root of a negative, so it does not exist. So to write out our domain in interval notation, we'll say it exists from negative infinity to negative 1. Since it can be equal to 0, negative 1 gets a square bracket. And then it doesn't exist between negative 1 and 2. It picks back up at 2 and then goes on to infinity. So this is the domain of our function.